Hello, my friends. We will continue with our Stack Overflow app and we will continue with the networking section. We have seen in the previous video how to configure the dependency of Retrofit and we have learned about the Stack Overflow API. Now we will configure our question class according to the Retrofit API uh, documents. So we have seen how to get the questions and what we need from the question ID and the title. I will go and I create a question. I have created it in the previous uh, uh, layout or a uh, UI uh, part, part one of this application. Okay. As we have learned, we start by serialized, serialized name and it is called title. Why we are using this? Because I need to get from the questions we are requesting usage of questions uh, get. We are requesting the question ID and the, the title. So it is named as title. It is uh, named as title here. And I will create a private final string and M title. So this M title would be serialized as title. Everything retrofit will get it and uh, it's named under title. It would be passed into M um, title. If you uh, learned about uh, retrofit and if you go back about retrofit, uh, you see that you can remove serialized name and uh, but you should put it as the title uh, as in the JSON file. But till now, I will use serialized name like this and serialized name like this question ID. Remember, guys, it's case sensitive because we need to get it exactly like this. So in order not to uh, make any uh, mistake, just copy and paste them. Private final string. I will call it MID. Okay, there's a string here. Okay. What is the pro add constructor parameters? Okay, I will add the constructor. Add constructor parameters. I will select the two and it is done. So I have created a constructor of these. Now the getters, you can write them, but I will save time. Okay, these are the getters. So we have configured our question uh, class and we are now ready to go to another step. We are going to configure the other classes and interfaces. Now I need to make an, uh, a class that it is a response schema. So since we have uh, many uh, questions that would be displayed on the list at the main activity. So when the user uh, open the app, a list of questions would be fetched using retrofit. So I have made a question model. This is question uh, model class. And I need to create a new class called the question questions list response schema this is a class that would fetch the data in items array so if you scroll up guys you see that there is an array of name items i need to fetch and tell the retrofit that hey retrofit everything that it is fetched in json and it is named items, I need to put it in a questions list response schema and then fetch these items into questions. I think that it is uh, more complicated, but don't worry guys, if you want to learn more about retrofit in more and more details, please go back to the uh, retrofit course and you see tons of videos uh, talking about this topic. So. Uh, go back to our course and uh, on YouTube channel also you can take many uh, retrofit uh, 
videos till now I need to make it a serialized name and it is called as I told you items what is the name here it is name items so private final list of questions of question uh, questions okay public questions list list response I'm making a, a constructor for it and passing the generic type it's called question and questions and m questions equal to questions okay it's very simple guys just making here also a getter get questions get questions okay so this class is uh, we have made it because we have an array of object that is called items okay so if you need to learn more about the parsing json using uh, retrofit you can go back to section 18 json and retrofit uh, api you can scroll down and learn more and more uh, about fetching single multiple uh, nested and everything so and you can build many uh, many apps using the api and if also if you want to go to our youtube you are very welcome and to subscribe to our youtube channel also uh, and this is the retrofit tutorial parsing json nested object that we uh, have used in this uh, class okay so as i told you the items array uh, array of objects and we are uh, going to get an object from this array which is called id and the title of the question question id and the title of the question okay so that uh, this is in a very simple way back to our uh, api questions and get i will remove this and you see guys i told you that there is a link here that we are going to use i will copy this and I will go to um, our Android Studio and I will make a new a public class. I name it this interface, selecting interface, and I will name it as Stack Overflow API. So you need to make the API. Okay, this is the interface we are may going to get or to use the get uh, method and here we paste the uh, variable part so guys if I need to test this link I cannot put it in this uh, in this uh, in the URL I need to a complete link it is www dot and something here constant and this is the variable part again guys i will put this in the get for now i will remove 2.2 and keep the questions and tell flow and i will make a call for retrofit passing into it a type of questions list a response a response schema and last active active questions i will get last ac active questions oops questions and i will make a query here this is a query 
this is a query and I will pass page size and integer page size okay so guys I have made this in order to get the page size so this is the variable page size you can pass page like page page number and you can put it here one it is like this it will add automatically for the URL a page here okay but till now I make and passing a page size equal to one or whatever you want so I am making a query I am inserting for this for this um, AP, this is variable link I am passing a query page I will use this uh, characteristics you can add this you can add this minimum tag from date page and you can add page size I will use page size for now okay in just for demonstrating remember our uh, our main purpose of this application is for using it for dependency injection and clean architecture okay so I uh, I hope everything is working fine um, let me go back to Android studio to the list activity and we have configured other uh, interfaces okay running the application okay let me check the uh, okay we have some um, some uh, thing that we need to to uh, initialize which is the retrofit okay so we need now to configure a retrofit i will declare a private stack overflow of api this is our interface that we have uh, created before stack overflow api okay and i will make a call here private call call i will create a question question questions list response schema and it is called m call m call okay okay and this i import it importing class remember guys to import the correct uh a package okay it is importing uh retrofit dot call okay so everything will work fine if you uh add ev uh, everything in correct place okay i will implement here implements callback i will add on another line and callback callback i will pass questions list response questions list response list response schema okay and here let me configure and initiate the retrofit configuration initiate retrofit by making a retrofit retrofit equal new retrofit dot builder and base url and i will make a new class called constants 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 i will name it as y constanti constant constant let me make it as constant and base url okay i will add 
converter factory using JSON. Our older friend JSON factory dot create and dot build. Okay. M stack overflow equal retrofit dot create and we are creating the response using stack overflow api stack uh, stack overflow api dot interface dot quest okay i will create a new class here called instance okay so i have to create constants okay in the class i will import the class so if we scroll up we need and we see that it is importing the class or because it is in the same package it is solving the error uh, automatically 